Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. And for today's episode, uh, I I actually wanted to cover this immediately on Tuesday when I realized this, uh, but I, I've been gone the past couple days uh, to visit family. So I just came back though, so I'm, I'm hoping to get this out as soon as possible. Uh, but essentially, I just want to let you guys know that I basically noticed that within the game, if you go to PvP, I actually noticed that the actual ranking system itself seems to have been modified in some way, shape, or form. Uh, I found this kind of curious because of the fact like there was no mention of this at all whatsoever any time recently. So it, it, I don't know, it just struck me as odd. Um, but in case you aren't aware or you haven't realized it already, essentially what is happening is like, uh, so like right now, for example, right here at rank 905th place. That's where I'm at right now. Yesterday, I was at six, I finished at 609th place, okay? Um, and I went to 905 and I, I haven't done my tries yet for today. But if you go ahead and press, like try and search for an enemy, so I'm not gonna actually battle, I'm just gonna go ahead uh, and look for people. So I was at 905 right now or something like that. If you look here, the lowest I can go is 576th place. And now in the past, I could actually jump way more levels than a few hundred levels uh, whenever I would go looking for people in the PvP uh, rankings, okay? Even in the lower tiers when I was like in the uh, like at the very beginning of reset and stuff where everyone doesn't even have keyblades set in stuff And I was like rank like 5,000 or something I can only chat I could only actually challenge people who were at only a, a few hundred levels below me Compared to how it was even just a week or two ago where I could actually challenge of people like a couple thousand ranks below me so essentially they from what it seems like they've seemed to have modified uh, how quickly you can go through the rankings, which in some ways is a good thing, but at the same time, in some ways, it's also kind of like a eh, not exactly bad, but maybe it creates a bit of like a double edged sword effect uh, for some aspects. In terms of the pros, okay, it means that now when ranking up and such, uh, you're going to be a lot more deserving of your actual rank now, it makes it harder to actually place in the higher rankings if you don't actually belong in those rankings. An example of what I mean by this is that, for example, uh, at the very beginning, like right on reset, reset and stuff, people of lower, say like power level or tier level, whatever you want to call it, uh, would immediately beat people and get like super high ranking tiers just because of the fact, you know, not everybody was ready, haven't figured out their, figured out their setups yet or didn't have good enough setups yet, whatever. And essentially what that would end up causing within the rankings is you actually create these like small pockets of like weak player areas where uh, even though that player will drop down, they will just be replaced by like another uh, weakish player. In which case other players can basically kind of like try and snipe these weak players just so just to help them secure their spots, even if they're not necessarily deserving of that ranking. And when I say deserving, I mean as in like you aren't nearly as powerful or probably the people around you in that ranking okay that's what i mean by deserving so because of the fact you can only actually look up to like a few hundred or even like a couple hundred spots below you now uh, it drastically changes that where it's a, a very very much harder to actually go ahead and do that now which in my opinion is a very good thing it also at the same time means that because it's harder for people to actually find you it means it's harder for you to actually drop rankings as fast so hopefully um, and we won't actually know, know this until you know the last day of reset on Monday next week uh, how this will go but theoretically it should also make it sm like 10 times harder uh, for you to actually get sniped super hard um, so even though you might you can still get sniped in pvp with this current system so like uh it just means that it, like you won't be dropping nearly as hard at the last second <laughs> because of like this new change so like in previous weeks for example you might have been in like uh i don't know 1000th place um and then within the last 10 minutes you'll drop all the way to like top 8000 that's a huge drop now with this new system in place uh it's very possible that instead of like top 8,000, you might just drop down like 
a thousand, which is significantly better <laughs> than eight thousand. Um, so yes, it's still kind of a huge change. I think that's an entire tier bracket, possibly. But at the very least, it's not it's not nearly as demoralizing. At the on paper, on paper, I should say, it's not nearly as demoralizing. Again, we won't actually know until reset comes around on Monday to actually see how useful this new change is going to be. Uh, it, it seems to be that they're looking to try and just modify their current system and improve it rather than actually just drastically change it, which is what I know uh, most people are kind of suggesting to them <laughs> in like comment sections and such. But at the very least, I am willing to see how this will go. Uh, in terms of the ness that I was talking about, that has to do with more of the VIP aspect of how this affects things. Because... Uh, at first, when you think about it, you think uh, because of the fact that it takes longer to rank up now, uh, you would think, oh, okay, that means now VIP tries actually have more value. It's actually a little bit more worth actually getting VIP now in order to get, you know, this plus extra five tries every single day. Um, but on the flip side, that also means that you have like you have an entire week. <laughs> To reach your like your, your like your rank area where you will typically rank according to your your power level, okay, um, you have an entire week to do that. So, at the same time, yes, it does mean that if you have your ten tries from VIP to rank up faster to get there faster, it also means that like at the end of the day, regardless of how fast you got there, at the end of the week, if you've been playing every day, you're like you're probably gonna be at that rank areas regardless. Um, especially since it's also harder to drop down in, in ranks too. To me, in terms of VIP, it's it's almost not even worth getting VIP now because of the fact like you can just play all week to get to your eventual ranking, and by the end of the week, you'll probably be at your ranking anyways. In which case, you don't need VIP, <laughs> especially since it'll be harder for you to drop anyways. Like it's it, it kind of has like a double-edged sword effect. I, I don't know. I find it interesting. The value of VIP in terms of PVP. Uh, to me is still exactly the same and not really nearly as useful anymore. Personally for me, I believe a point system um, in a very specific way I should, I should say, not just, just purely who has the most points because uh, that can be exploited. Uh, but I have a very specific point system in mind that I believe uh, would be very useful and would actually provide a legitimate value to, P to VIP uh, if they actually want to continue going down that route whether or not i feel like you know that's for the best is a different topic but in terms of like actually giving value to vip uh i think a point system in a very specific way would actually help out but other than that uh that's it for today guys i just want to quickly point that out because i wasn't able to actually cover it on tuesday like i wanted to uh, but i just got back so i'm trying to release as much as I can. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. Uh, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.